And speaking of small businesses, a Fort Collins company is making an old-fashioned holiday treat the old-fashioned way, using machines built in 1886. The company's specialty is ribbon candy. Denver 7's Sam Pena takes a closer look at the cooking process. I'm Sam Pena with Denver 7 here in Fort Collins with the Colorado Candy Company. Now you may have heard of ribbon candy before, but have you ever heard of old fashioned ribbon candy, the way that it was supposed to be made? That's what we're doing here today using equipment from the 1800s. And I'm here with John Bonaconti. Now, John, Hi, you make it the old fashioned way. Tell us a little bit about this process. How do you start? All right. So this is my favorite candy to make of all time. Um, the process is amazing. We're just going to start by adding our ingredients. So we're going to put in some water and turn that scale on. We're going to put in a healthy dose of sugar. Then we're going to put in our corn syrup. And that's where we're going to start. So you got to get over that 310 degrees to get to what's called the candy crack stage. And now we're ready to color and flavor it. We're just going to do a little puddle here. Grab each end and pull down, stretching out those sugar crystals. So I'm going to chop this up, and then I'm going to have you start to layer it together. Push it in like yep. that, and then we put this on top. Yep, put that right on top. We're also trying to push it down, flatten it. As we've discussed, we want to make this razor thin so that it melts in your mouth. And then we're going to be ready for you to start spinning some ribbon candy. Pulling it towards the machine. You got it. Yep, and you're just moving it towards that machine so that machine can stretch it out. Now this is the ribbon candy that I made, and this is what it's supposed to look like. I think I did pretty good. It looks pretty much the same. All right, now it's time for us to do the ultimate test. We're going to taste this. Melting on the mouth. Hmm. For Denver 7, I'm Sam Pena. <laughs> good job, Sam. You might need a little more practice, but it looks delicious.